Don't you just love waking up to my bleh. It is 8.04. I'm actually working on my Walmart. I bought a haul. I'm just writing down the deals that I already did so I don't have to sit there and do the math while I'm inside the store. But a lot of stuff's going to end today, so but that's fine for me. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to go. I hope to get in and out pretty quickly. So I haven't eaten yet. I keep saying like I'm hungry, I'm hungry, but then I keep pushing it off. So, which is a good thing kind of. So, um, again, I couldn't sleep very well last night, but the thing is I can't hear under this ear when I'm sleeping. Like, I don't know what it is, but Charlotte was apparently screaming last night and Graham sleeps with a fan on and I could not hear her until like, I don't know how long she was screaming for. And uh, she, her tear, her, yeah, she had tears all over her ears, and I just couldn't hear her. Something about this ear just clogs up, and I do have a camera that I can look inside my ear, but there's nothing there. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not going to the doctor about it because I've gone to the doctor too many times about it, and or too many times this week or month or year or whatever. But she was fine. She fell right back asleep right away when I took her with me. So, but I didn't hear Graham snoring. I couldn't hear the fan. I couldn't hear the fan. I couldn't hear the, the um, Graham snoring. I just kind of slept through it. But I did see that we do have um, Breathe Right coupons we got in our inserts this Sunday. And so I'm actually going to go to, I'm probably going to get some Breathe Right strips and have him try it because it might help. It might help. But yeah, it is 8.05. I'm gonna hurry up and get dressed. And then when I get dressed, I'm hoping to be out the door by nine o'clock. Hoping. I have a thing where if I get 40 rebates, I'll get 10 bucks, but I'm not gonna hit 40 rebates today, obviously, but yeah. And then today I'm gonna kinda get some stuff done around the house. Um, I feel like if I'm dressed and I have makeup on and stuff, I might have energy. Um, and then for dinner, I'm just gonna eat my leftovers again. But yeah. Not much else is going on, but Graham Arthur is coming downstairs, so I will be back. On the road again. We're just leaving my house again. So it is 9.18, and Charlotte and I are walking out the door. When Ben went to school this morning, it was 24 degrees. 24. It's been flurrying on and off. I don't know if it's supposed to flurry today, but currently it is 44 degrees outside. It's supposed to be a high of 56. In Wisconsin, literally, you can have all four seasons in one day. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how cold it was this morning and how decent it's going to be. Sometimes we've had even weird, weirder weather than that. But, yeah, so now we are heading to Walmart. Like, a part of me wants to do this and a part of me wants to do that. And I'm like, nope, I want to just stay home. I've been really trying to just stay home and not go places that I don't need to go to. Um... It's easy for me, but then it's hard for me. I don't know. I don't know. But that's okay. That is okay. Um, I just want to focus on other things. But actually, I have to go to Walgreens. I forgot. I got to go to Walgreens. I got some pictures to pick up. And then I'm going to get some iron pills, actually. That's what we're going to do right now while I am thinking of it. They still haven't done anything to this house yet. It's just sitting there like a burnt thing. They ended up picking up the other house like super fast but I don't know if maybe there's something in there that they have to wait for it to completely cool down I, I honestly I don't know but anyways I will be back when I uh when I'm done shopping at Wally World so I'm at an intersection right now I wasn't involved in an accident but there's this guy at the lights and I'm honking my horn at him. I'm like, go forward. And he doesn't. So I go around him and he's like passed out. And I had to call 911, but there's another guy. There's another guy that's trying to help him, but this guy. I called 911 also. Oh, okay. I think that guy's a cop. Here comes the police right now. The, the, I, I don't know what's wrong with the guy. But I hope he's okay. He had, he's like passed out.
I don't know what's going on. I've never had to call the cops on anybody before. It's kind of scary. It's really scary. So I gotta wait because I gotta talk to police officers. Okay, you guys, that was scary. That was super scary. I'm sitting at the lights and there's it's like two cars in front of me before he's like even there and the sensor's not going off, you know, because he's not far close to the thing. And I'm like, well, screw this. I'm honking my horn at him, nothing. So I pass him and he's like this, you know, passed out with a cigarette in his mouth with his foot on the brake. So I get out of the intersection and I pull over and I call the cops. I've never had to call 911 on anybody ever in my life. Hold on, honey. Give me a second. So then I'm sitting there and then I see another guy pull up and I think I was on camera when I was yelling to that guy that um, I'm on the phone right now or I was on the phone or I just called 911 and then he like took his wallet out so he must have been like an under undercover cop or something. So he's ended up knocking on the guy's window and you know trying to get a attention to the guy and then a cop shows up and then they uh, open the door and the guy's just sitting there, like, just sitting there. And uh, then, they're, then like, after a couple minutes, they, fart, they start giving him CPR. And then another cop shows up. And then another cop shows up. And then, um, um, sorry, I'm just kind of in shock. So then the ambulance shows up. And I'm like, well, I should go over there. I'm in a weird, I'm in a busy section where I shouldn't be sitting here. So I kind of turn around and I ask the cop, I says, hey, do you need any more <clears throat> information from me? Because I have, you know, Charlotte's screaming. And he's like, yeah, let me, he's like, just pull over. So I pull over and I get, he gets all my information. He's like, okay, you're free to go. But then I saw the guy, he's up and walking. They took him on a stretcher to the hospital. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was to tell you the truth. I don't know if he hit somebody because the front of his car was all banged up, but there was like nothing on the ground. So I don't know, but I'm happy I could, I saved somebody's life. You know, I mean, that guy was there too, but you never know. There's people out there who will drive just right past. I mean, how long was he sitting there without anybody even noticing it? Like, you know, that's my thing. Like, he could have been sitting there for a long time and people just don't give a crap, but I should have just, pulled in front of him and called the cops but I didn't know what to do because you know you just don't know what to do but I'm happy with what I did because you never know you never know what could have happened he could have put his took his foot off that brake and it caused even more of bigger damage because that intersection people are doing 55 miles per hour so it's scary but I'm happy you know I pulled over did what I did and then the you know the 911 operators like to stay in your car he's like I can hear that you have a little child in your car so I feel good. That was that was that was interesting, you guys. I'm so happy with the. I, I I hate that it happened, but I'm happy that's the way I went to Walmart. But I had to back up. Now I'm going back to. I had to go a different way because they blocked the, all the intersections. So now I'm going to Walmart again on this little detour. But it is 10:08, and yeah. So I'll see you guys back in a bit. Okay, everybody. It is 12:34. One, two, three, four. And Charlotte's on, on a nap. I just got home. I'm going to actually film my videos real quick. And then I um, am going to sit down and have some lunch and just relax. And I'll work on my video later today. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, today was an interesting day. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm happy that I saved the guy's life. Um, you know, but the thing is, I took a picture. When I got to that intersection, I took a picture. Because there's people who purposely stop at the lights way behind because I don't know, but there is a sensor or something I always predict. And when the light never turned green, I'm like, what the heck person? So, you know, I took a picture while I was standing there because I'm like, this person's being a freaking idiot and I wanted to send it to Graham. Um, but I would have sent it to him when I was parked. And then, um, I don't know if I can, I can show you guys my photo cause I took a photo of it. So basically, so he uh, was parked like, away from the thing and so I don't know if you guys can kind of see it but he was parked like from the lights kind of far away and then um 
you know, there's like two or three, maybe four cars behind me, and I'm like, well, screw this. After honking my horn, I went around him. Those people all drove off. I don't know if they saw that I was taking care of it or what, but they all drove off. And then, so I was sitting over here, and you guys saw that. I was sitting over here at the intersection, and then I ended up turning around and going over there uh, to talk to the police officer, and then he got all my information, but it's crazy. I think the guy was probably on drugs. I hate to say it, but um, he, yeah, it, from the looks of him, he looked like he might have been something, but anyways, I am going to go downstairs and film my video, and I'm watching, I, I was going to watch Harry Potter. I was like, oh, I think I'm just going to watch all the Harry Potter movies, because it's been a while since I've watched all those, so it's cold. It's kind of decent outside. I like standing in the sun. I mean, it's such a gorgeous day right now, but I am going to go film my video, but I'll be back later today. Okay, everybody, it is 6.06. .06. I'm just reheating leftovers because I don't feel like cooking anything. So I just had Charlotte's meal heated up, but I got to let it sit there and cool off because I don't want her burning or burning her tongue. So Graham's still working. He's upstairs working. I'm just getting the kids' food ready. But uh, yeah, I kind of like looked back at the vlog of earlier today when the um, the whole cop thing, it was, it was crazy, it was crazy. But Graham has this like scanner thing where he can see like what's going on in the area and it was on there, it just said it needed medical assistance. But it's crazy, I still don't know what happened but yeah, Charlotte and I played outside for a little bit and then I went upstairs and read a couple of chapters of my book. It is messy as all heck in here, but that's fine. I'm going to deal with something tomorrow. But I went to Walgreens earlier today to get iron pills, and my store didn't have anything. I don't know if they were sold out or what. I could not find anything. So then I just went to Walmart, and then I couldn't find anything. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, is it just iron day or something? So then I found a different spot that they had them in. So I got a bottle of iron. So we'll see if maybe that helps me with my freezing all the time. Just because I, well, I'll, I have also probably have blood, fl bad blood flow circulation, but anyways, all the cookies are gone. You guys, we ate all the cookies, and I actually got, like, to have some. Usually, every, every single time, I never get to eat my cookies, so I gotta wash that container, but I'm just gonna drink my water so I can be thirsty, but, uh. Other than that, yeah, I'm just gonna get everything ready. I'm probably just gonna sit down. I did watch Harry Potter 4, um, so I wanna get to Harry Potter 6 is what I want to, so I'll probably watch another Harry Potter movie tonight, but I don't sit there and just watch it. I do stuff while I'm doing that. <sighs> but I'm just excited for like two hours from now when we can start getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> Yay! But I will be back. It's a long day today. Okay, it is 8.30, um, get ready for bed. So the other night, Ben had a nightmare about Paris, my cat, if you guys haven't known Paris is, that Paris ate him. So the last few days, he's been like deathly afraid of Paris. And he's like, she's gonna claw me. Well, she's declawed in the front. Um, we adopted her with no claws in the front. I, just, I, squ I squeezed her like paw to show him. I'm like, there's no claws in the front. I, and then I showed him the back. And he's like, but she's going to eat me. I said, Ben, she can't even eat your head. Like, you're such a big kid. And I said, anyways, if she's going to eat you guys, she's going to eat Par uh, Charlotte first because Charlotte's the smallest. But he's just, like, super scared. Not, like, in tears, but he's, like, super scared. And then he's, like, super scared of bees. Like, bees, bees, bees. Like, he's in tears where he doesn't want to go outside. He doesn't want to do anything. He forgets sometimes that there are bees around, but he's just so scared. And like, we've shown him videos of this one girl who like moves bee nests and she doesn't have anything on her. So it's just like, that started developing last summer, but it was just like when we went to the zoo the other day, he was just in tears because he's so afraid of bees. And I'm just like, don't know what to tell you kid. Don't know what to tell you. But um, yeah, so it's 8.30 right now. I am gonna get everything kids ready to go to bed. Tomorrow's my cleaning day. So I'm gonna take some iron tomorrow. I got some iron pills, so hopefully maybe that will help me get me more motivated. But tomorrow is my cleaning day. Put things away, get things done. So we will see. 
But yeah, it was an exciting day today. That's all I can say. I, I don't remember the last time I called the 911. I don't think I ever had to call 911 before. I one time when I was a, when I was working at the grocery store, um, I worked in the deli. I was a senior in high school, and then I was there a freshman year in college. And I worked in the deli, and we had to go in the freezer, which was way in the back of the store, if we needed to get some things that we needed. So I go back there, and I see this huge pile of Kleenex boxes, and I'm just like, why is there a big pile of Kleenex boxes there? And I move one, and there's a kid underneath it. it was one of the the uh, carryout kids or stalkers, um, and whatever. And I was 18, right? I think. And I'm just I was saying his name, which I can't remember. Chris, I think his name was Christopher. I'm like Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. He's not answering. And like, there's nothing bad. It's a small grocery store. If you guys have ever been to a small town where there's no traffic lights, it's a tiny town. Like we had four four towns into one just to go to a school like I'm from a very small town so I run to go to the front of the store to go get um the the store manager or the manager that's on duty and he's like yeah right no and I'm like no I'm like seriously he's he fell so he runs back to the store with me well the thing is there's only like four people working it was like me him the stalker and then a cashier <laughs> there might have been one other person and uh he runs back there and he's like, Jennifer, you can you keep an eye on things while I so we ended up doing this, he ended up calling the police or he ended up calling, you know, nine one one and they had to have a helicopter. My high school was right across the street and they had to have a helicopter land and come and get him to take him to the hospital because we don't know how long he was out. But he what he had was he hit his head and he had a concussion and he was fine, he was fine, but um you know, it, it was scary that they, you know, had to get a helicopter, but he quit right after that. But I went to high school with him. He was like two years younger than me. But uh, yeah, it's scary, you know, to see stuff like that. But I, you know, I had to run and get help because of stuff like that. But that day was a very interesting day. We we're like trying to tell people like, sorry, we're understaffed right now because, you know, we're dealing with the police, the, 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 everything like that. So... Yeah, scary, scary days, but I'm going to get these kids ready for bed. I'm going to get this video uploaded, but tomorrow I'm hoping to have a great day, a better day. And then Saturday, as far as I know, we don't have any plans going on, but I, yeah, I don't think we have anything going on. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for being supportive if you guys watch this video. It is a crazy day, but I am happy that I decided to go a different route than I usually do to go to Walmart. Um, so that right there just made me super happy. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.